What's going on, Pro Cutters? It's mail time. I've been seeing something on YouTube, and for $83, I just couldn't resist. Bam! The WL Toys 144001. Uh, yeah, it was $82 and some change off eBay. It's ready to run. Comes with the radio. Uh, it does not come with, it needs four AA batteries for the radio. That's uh, that's the only thing it doesn't come with, but no big deal. Everybody's got AA batteries lying around. Comes with the, a USB charger, a T-wrench, and like I said, it comes fully assembled. It's actually... Pretty nice packaging. It's a little bit smaller than it looks online with everybody's videos, but pretty slick. It's got a alloy chassis, alloy suspension, uh, oil filled, Pull the body clips off we can get under here it's just got a brushed motor but it's a big 550 size motor in this little 114 scale buggy um, electronic speed control and it's got a little battery they say okay yeah it is it's a uh, just a small 2s lipo 7.4 volts, 1500 milliamp hours, and um, I'm going to get this thing charged up, and we're going to put this buggy to the test. Stay tuned. So I've got my battery plugged into the charger now, and you can see there's a little red LED light in there. When the battery's done charging, the red LED goes out. So I got you on the head mount. I've installed batteries into the radio. Turn that on. You're looking for the flashing red light. Got that. Right. Got the battery hooked up. And then go ahead and power this up. Got our steering. Got forward. Got reverse. All right. Go ahead and drop the body back on. about to take this thing for a rip. Oh yeah. Well, she's definitely stupid fast. I mean, that's just a little bit of the throttle. Steering trim that a little bit. I'm gonna get up here in the uh the whole man I hope you guys caught that little jump there that was damn cool oh hellfire we've had our first wreck Let's get up in here into the hole.
Damn, the thing left the front wheels off the ground. Uh, oh. I mean, I can't even give it full throttle. Not with the uh, space constraints I have around me. It's ridiculous. And this is just straight out of the box factory damn brushed motor and a 2s lipo battery again man I'm gonna have to take this over to Optimus Park so I can uh, open it up it's just uh, too crazy to run it over here this thing is wicked Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't see needing 3S or uh, converting it to damn brushless. Oh, damn cased it on that little bump there. See, and every, the first thing everybody else does with this thing is crank those rear shocks up all the way. And I've loosened them all the way, and they've still got too much bounce in them. So I really don't understand why people uh, feel the need to crank those springs down. Those springs are actually uh, too stiff from the factory. It, could, it would benefit from softer springs. Guys, I'm barely touching the throttle. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, full throttle is nuts. You, you can't even handle it. It just freaking uh, loses it on this loose gravel. It's really a, uh, for less than a hundred bucks, this thing is just insane. The, RC hobby has really come a long way. I can remember the, you know, the very first RC car I had back in the 80s it was the Tyco Turbo Hopper, which was, you know, junk. But I was really young, and so it was cool, man. I I had a good time with it. And my first 
my first hobby grade car was a Kyosho Optima Mid. All right, something's going on here. Ah, oh, there's a big ass rock stuck in there. That was binding things up. So anyway, yeah, so Kyosho Optima Mid, that was my first hobby grade car. You know, and everything came with bushings back then, and now you got an $83 car here, and it's full ball bearings. It's just crazy how far things have progressed. You know, and even this not being brushless, just being brushed, but you know, they've got a 550 motor crammed into this uh 114 scale buggy and i mean it's just you you can't use anywhere near all the power just this brushed motor has there's full throttle and you you can't even control it it's just all over the place Oh, I can't wait to take this over to the uh, to the ball field so I can uh, really let it eat and see what it'll do. It could benefit from uh, better electronics. It it could definitely use a little uh, less steering input. And this radio, you've only got a steering trim. You can't uh, dial it down at all as far as the uh, the limits. Let's see if I can notice anything different with this. There's um, a mode button here and it's got one, two, three, and four. I don't notice any difference. The nice thing about this uh, thing being so small and light, when you hit your foot with it inadvertently, it doesn't hurt. That, you can see how rough it is. It smooths out at higher speed. Hmm. Pretty damn cool. Pretty cool. Stay tuned, guys. I'm out here at the ballpark now. Always turn your radio on first. Plug the battery in. Turn the vehicle on. Oh yeah. It's got way more power than traction. And this is still on the same charge. switch mounts. I'm going to take it off of the uh, head mount and throw it on the shorty so I can go ahead and get some different action.
and just like that guys the battery is dead so it's only you know 14 or 1500 milliamp hours not many anyway though it's a uh, damn cool little vehicle i uh, look forward to charging the battery back up and running it again i've also ordered a couple of extra batteries off amazon that i should have here on uh, monday or tuesday thanks for watching now i've run the first battery through the uh 144001 first impressions are yeah it's uh it's pretty dang fast it's definitely got more power than traction um on the dry loose soil uh, that i tested it on uh, definitely just wanted to spin and lose control so it's got just tons of power with that big 550 engine or motor rather uh, so and i did notice when i ran it on the um set it up on the rail and i ran it i noticed that both the front and back tires that um low rpms it was real real uh, rough and jerky and uh when you got up to higher rpms it kind of smoothed out so that's something i'm going to want to uh check the drivetrain over and you know maybe tear this thing down after a while and um check out the drivetrain and see if i can figure out what's causing that to maybe smooth it out a little bit better and uh other than that i've got some batteries on order for it just a um, little bit more milliamp hours but the uh still just a 2s a 7.4 um at this particular point in time i cannot see trying to put 3s on here um for at least where i'm using it it would just be ridiculous because it's already got more power than the uh tires can handle so the next test will be on asphalt and uh, see how it reacts on asphalt. And then I might go to 3S. I've got some older 3S LiPos um, on hand, so I may try them uh, if it runs smoother and more controllable on asphalt than it did on the dirt. Because on the dirt, uh, it was just completely out of control. But pretty nice buggy. Um, Flipped it and rolled it a few times. No no damage. You know, I just first run. So took it kind of easy on it. Didn't want to break anything yet. And I'm also going to, you know, get quite a few good runs in it before I put it on 3S. Because I know with 3S, you know, you're, you're prone to starting to burn electronics up at that point. So, and speaking of electronics... It would definitely benefit from an upgraded radio and receiver. Um, something where you can limit the amount of steering that it has. You know, change the rate. Um, that might help with control a little bit. I've seen a lot of guys running units um, where they've got gyros in the servos. Um, so if the thing is tilting and turning, the wheels kind of automatically go. Um, that must be new new technology man uh, i've been out of the rc game for a while so this is the uh this is the first one i've had in a while and uh, like i said when i was running it here on my property i mean they've just they have come a long way with uh quality and price it's just insane that this little car was 83 dollars um ready to run with the battery and everything i mean that's just ridiculous because it's seems to be a really good quality car it's stupid fast i mean they've got that massive 550 motor crammed into a 114 scale car so it's super fast and uh i definitely recommend picking one up if you're into rc at all it's just stupid fun and less than a hundred dollar bill Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Pro Cut signing out.